Hey guys, how's this look for you? I am kind of just posted up in my living room. You've seen me in this spot before for videos. I am doing some work from home work. I believe that I told you or you will find out in a video because as we know, I'm struggling with this stuff right now. Um, and then on top of technical issues, I've got a lot of life happening and then it just keeps building. So my office is the living room. Oh, what I was trying to say is because I have that work from home job now with that insurance company and I'm really, really, really excited about it. I love this company. Um, it's like what my former boss and I kind of wished we could have previously. Um, but we worked for a captive insurance company, which means we had to only sell their products and we had to do everything their way, even though she owned the company or the local office. But I'm going to do one of those things. I've picked up the camera a few times to tell you about this. I don't know if this is the microphone. I never know if these are working as the microphone, but I do have it connected because I've been in calls all day. But I haven't been able to like talk about it because I've been so emotional. And I'm sorry, Ruger is not going to stop whining. But basically, I've been working really hard at the restaurant. We're super short staffed. Um, and I've been having to work by myself. So I've been running my butt off working by myself. And uh, Tuesday night, today's Thursday, so two days ago. We've been really, really, really busy too. And so then short staffed and having everybody to have to work their shifts by themselves. Like I can handle it, but it gets hard. And um I was like right at the crux of everything like getting to be the, what I knew would be the worst part of the night with people coming in and coming in and coming in and not having open tables and not having enough time to like get salads to people before the other people come in and need their drink orders taken and etc etc. Anyway I get my watch buzzes and of course because I'm that person that we are all trained to be in these this day and age I looked at it and I shouldn't have looked. I should have waited because it was my landlord sending us a text that said that the problems with the house are too great and um, they've decided to no longer rent the house and we have until May the 1st to find somewhere else to live. And I am totally broken hearted. My dude is pissed. He's very mad. I'm hoping he gets over that by the time it's time to move out because he has these ridiculous plans but i'm just brokenhearted. we all know how much i love this place um it makes me very very thankful to have had this channel when i did start it because the stuff that i love the most about it is what i filmed all last summer outside and all my wildlife that's around here and stuff um i'm in a really weird spot about it i need to find a storage unit to put all of our stuff in because i've decided that the other thing is we live in a town with a power plant and that's what is the driving force in this town. So there's a thing called outage where they bring these other workers in from all over the country to do work on a different section of the power plant each time. Those people suck up all the rentals and outage starts in six days, five days, I don't know. And it'll it'll probably be maybe ending at that time, but I don't know. But so we're gonna have a hard time finding a rental. And I want to get on this right away. I don't want to just wait until May the first and then move out. We have a big weekend that weekend anyway, so uh, we won't be around. So that has to all be dealt with beforehand anyway. But I need to be patient. I told myself when I moved into this house that I would not move out of this house until I was buying my own place. I don't know. I talked to a few people yesterday that made me feel like that actually is doable even though I never thought it would be at the point that I'm at. Like I had mentioned earlier, we thought we were in a position where we might be able to make an offer on this place, um, but she's absolutely not willing to do that. Which leads me to believe that they don't actually intend to stop renting this house. They just don't want to rent to us anymore. I think because we have been so on them about things that need to be updated and it costs a lot of money because this is an old house and it's falling apart in certain places because they did some work on Monday Tuesday morning my dude text them and said hey the garage door still blows in snow it's never been fixed we've been asking for it to be fixed for five years and it blows snow right into the house and so then that no response was given to us and then that afternoon evening is when we got the message that they didn't intend 
for us to continue to live here. So I either think that they want us out so that they can rent to somebody that won't like hold them to that <laughs> or so that their son and his girlfriend can move in. Or maybe they truly do not intend to rent to anybody anymore. I don't know. That's their choice. I think that with the money she... I do think with the money that she says she's put into this place that they're not going to not recoup that. It doesn't matter. It, I don't own it. So we have to go. So I'm hoping that I can find the place that's right for me to buy. Um, I have a few like options of things and stuff, but it's all kind of up in the air. I don't know. And then I have this other thing that I can't talk to you guys about yet that's going on that's a big, big deal that just makes everything so much. And then I'm also trying to get like licensed. I'm trying to get all my licenses figured out for this insurance stuff. And it's just, there's a lot going on in a short period of time. So I still am gonna talk to you guys every day. I know February sucked. I'm thinking that maybe if we move, we'll have better internet service somewhere, wherever we go. That would be cool. I don't intend to move into city limits. We'll do what we have to do. Oh, that's why I'm going to get a storage shed so that in case, in case we can't find the right place right away, we can get somewhere and our stuff can be somewhere so that I can slowly move things out like every day before I go to work, take a box of stuff that we don't use and put it in storage. Uh, so that's the update on that. You know, uh, I've been, I've been really, really depressed about it. Um, I saw this thing on Gaia I was watching and they were talking about how the Chinese word for crisis is the same word for opportunity and I think that's really cool. My dude is just, he doesn't know how to deal with somebody who has like an emotional attachment to like ideas and stuff. Go lay down now, go, go lay down. Ruger, get up there and lay down. Lay down. Anyway, he doesn't know how to deal with that. He's been what I feel is insensitive, but I don't think that's what his intention is. He keeps sending me this thing from Jocko Wilnick that's like, nobody cares, work harder. It's a good thing you feel that way because that'll motivate you to do this, that, and the other thing. And I was trying to tell him that, like, I already have that mindset. I have had that mindset for the past 20 years and here's my frustration and I'll just tell you guys since I've been a working adult I have been supporting my significant other I've been working two to three jobs or two jobs and been in school or something 2020 was the first year of my entire life where I only have one job one responsibility I didn't have to go to my other job I didn't have to go to school anything um so I also have big ambitions and those things don't get seen to fruition because it seems to be my role to take on to make sure that the people that I'm with get their stuff, like their goals fulfilled and um, my stuff just gets put on the back burner. So uh, he thinks that I'm just being a crybaby about it when the reality of the situation is I am so burnt out and I was so burnt out before I even lost my other job that I don't have any downtime and things just keep piling up and piling up and I'm like this close to losing it and I'm trying so hard not to and I'm trying so hard to keep my mind in the right space so that I don't um but something's got to give at some point and if things don't start turning up like getting better I don't I'm gonna lose my mind um so that's that and I thank you for listening because you didn't have choice you don't get to shut me down when I'm talking because uh, uh at least I don't know that you do it if you click all a so um yeah that's the update and I will I'll talk to you tomorrow bye